sorry, I didn't realize it was uh, work time again. I, I was still on my break. But, um, okay, hi. Uh, I'm the uh, engineer, scientist, captain. I'm really the only one here. Uh, you kind of just stumbled in here. What the frick? What, what are you doing? You shouldn't be here, but you're here now, so that's cool. I'm lonely, so you can stay. It's fine. Um, yeah, so welcome to my spaceship. Um, I'm not in the captain's seat. I'm in a different part of the ship. Don't come to me, though, because I like being alone. But we can we can do this, this thing. Uh, I kind of have to wear all the hats around here uh, because I am very lonely. <laughs> and, you know, somebody has to run the ship, basically. I do have to warn you of something, though, because I feel like everybody should know, you know, because we're in space and everything. But one thing specifically is there are these things called murder drones. Now, obviously, these things are real. Like, everybody should know about them, especially if you're in space. But what's really interesting is that there is this company. They made, like, an animation about it. Glitch Productions, actually. They've made some animated things here and there, fictional stuff. But these murder drones, oh, no, these things are real. Trust me. I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, I eventually got attacked one of these days. But, you know, you made it here, and I didn't know about that. So I got to increase security around here, uh, looks like. <laughs> Anyways, Glitch Productions is this Australian animation studio that, according to them, they make fun, lighthearted shows with occasional murder. And you know me. I actually you don't know me. Well, now you do. I like the occasional murder, too, you know, preferably not on me, but on other space creatures, probably, yeah. Anyways, they just started this brand new show, and it's really cool to see. It actually got recommended to me while I was uh, browsing YouTube, because surprisingly, yeah, we get YouTube out here as long as we get internet signals. Listen, I, I'm the scientist. I, I know how to make that work, obviously. Well, I explained it to you. No, too boring. Anyways, this show honestly looks like it has some promise. I watched the first episode, and... I'm bored, and you're here, so, um, yeah. <laughs> to me, it was very suspenseful, yet hilarious at the same time. It feels like a very fun show in general, which I do appreciate. I, I always like to watch those. It doesn't take itself too seriously either, although, to be honest, I feel like when you're dealing with murder drones, you probably should take it a little more seriously, but I do like jokes here and there. Who said it doesn't work? Maybe it does! <laughs> Uh, Uzi, the homework was a word problem about buying watermelons. Oh, and this magnetically amplified photon converger doesn't count? No. Plus, repressed emotional baggage was only worth two points on the rubric. In the show, the music design and the, you know, sound design specifically are perfect. Like, everything feels like it's connected with the universe thanks to the choice music and sounds that they use. And these sounds are mostly made by Uzi, the main character of the show, and N, the letter N. You know L from Death Note? Yeah, now it's N. Wait, N, I think N was actually in Death Note too. No, it's not, it's not the same, I promise you. Now, while I said murder drones are real, they have these weird animated portrayals in this one because, you know, they want to keep it lighthearted and fun, which I understand, but again, murder drones, very serious thing. Specifically with this show, it looks very high budgeted for a 3D animated film, and it actually looks very polished as well. It's funny because the animation actually reminds me of some Sonic cinematics here and there. The good ones, not the bad ones, not the most recent ones, which are trash, but like the older ones. That's what it reminds me of more so. It's like that one Twitter video where the guy made the Shadow the Hedgehog intro, but in 60 frames, that's kind of what it feels like, and it's just so freaking cool, and I love it so much. How do people like this? Why do I try? Should I even try? This whole shot is interpolated. Did you even notice? But yes, the animation in this show is just so sleek and clean, and it just feels good to watch. And you know me, I, I'm a, a stickler for lip syncing, but the lip syncing in this show, oh my gosh, amazing. It is very much spot on. This time, I won't miss. I also love the design of the glowing eyes for the characters, because it gives the robots way more of a personality to them. Speaking of personality, the characters move like humans, you know, which I think is really cool to see. It just shows how lively the movements of the characters are. It's really funny, because my brain keeps thinking these are video game cinematics, because they kind of, like, range on that level, and they're real, that's how good they are. Um, so I keep waiting for the cinematic to stop so I can play again, because honestly, a Murder Drones video game would be very fun to, you know, 
go away from the actual fear of murder drones and try to, you know, numb the pain of the possible murder drones a little bit more so that way you don't actually die. This is the kind of show you can't just listen to it. You have to watch it because every single second is pure art. And all of the effects used in the show are just beautiful. Just like this huge weapon explosion that comes out of freaking nowhere and I'm like, Phew. I had to rewatch it a couple times because it's so good. That scene's not the episode, that scene specifically, because it caught me off guard. Also, occasionally with the weapons, you'll have these pop-up HUDs. They're just a very nice touch. And occasionally there are moments where you actually get to see from the lens of the robot like this, you know? Like, oh, whoa, I'm the robot now. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. Now, while I've been gawking at how good the animation is, because I'm a sucker for that sort of thing, the writing itself is actually really good, too, surprisingly. Like, literally, in the first minute, I was already laughing pretty hard. <laughs> we are worker drones. Autonomous robots helping humans mine exoplanets for our interstellar parent company, J.C. Jensen, in space. Yeah, we were mistreated in the name of Windex, but it's not like we revolted and killed all humans or anything. Mostly because they handled that just fine all by themselves. The joke writing is just so good. <laughs> it's so good that they even have the need to put jokes in the background that aren't even said, but if you're looking very carefully, you can notice them here and there, and I appreciate those kind of joke Easter eggs. When it wants to be, it's just joke after joke after joke, and all of them land pretty well. Honestly, the show on the second half gets a little more serious, but even still, it kind of balances it out well with some jokes here and there, so it's not like super serious, but it's also serious when it wants to be. There's also several physical bits that lead themselves to becoming jokes. There's also uh, modern day references that I was not expecting, and I found that to be pretty funny. Oh, and they said pirating all that anime was useless. There's also these rapid, fast tone shifts, which I love specifically because I'm one for juxtaposition. I love juxtaposition any chance I can get it, honestly. So because of that, I personally love whenever things just throw that in there because to me, my favorite form of humor is juxtaposition. The last form of joke that tends to be in this show is one that is very quick and not everybody's gonna notice it, but honestly, I very much appreciated it. The music cuts out occasionally for comedic effect. first episode had me wanting more because as of right now there's only one episode what the frick i wanted to binge all of it i honestly can't wait to see the rest of the show until it comes out for a pilot i absolutely loved it murder drones are here uh, and <laughs> Words define us. If ever we feel lost, or alone, or utterly ordinary, odds are it's language that helped us find our way out. When the world feels chaotic and uncertain, so vast you can barely scratch the surface of it, the right word can help you find a foothold, so you can feel a little more at home.